All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the Eminence and Shadow episode ten. In the last episode, we finalized the kind of attack on the school little arc we had there. Um, Sid ended up taking out uh, Barnett or the the adopted father of Sherry, uh, finding out that he was in fact the one dressed in the Ultron suit. Um, yeah, it took him out, no remorse. Um, left him in a mangled state for Sherry to find. Um, may have started a village and origin story that village and village villain <laughs> villain origin story right there for sherry i don't know but that's speculation it's very possible um she didn't actually admit at the end as to what she actually wanted or what she wanted to do in the future uh but i'd say it's definitely hinted at as far as i'm aware um but yeah very good episode and i'm excited to see the next episode now so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now. This the freaking school? Oh yeah, this shit got fucked up. Damn, wish someone would would have you know, blown up my school when we were in when I was back in school. <laughs> I thought we were actually gonna get some older brother sister interaction right there, as we haven't seen them interact in quite some time. Yeah, just be delivering shit by pigeons. Okay. What are you dressed? Oh, Just, I saw his knees and like the shadow on his knees. I thought he was in fucking cowboy boots for some reason. I'm, I'm <laughs> Lindworm. Okay. Who the hell is this? Big ass hair. Oh, is it a tail? What are you doing with a giant wrench? Why the- <laughs> Why the hell is everybody asleep? Da yeah? Fucking fully naked? Oh yeah, well she's putting on a slime uniform, I guess. Yeah, the jiggle physics. Okay, anime, I see you. Wait, which, um, which letter is she? I don't remember. I don't remember if it's been mentioned yet, either. Yeah? What is what is with the the view on boobs here? <laughs> I can't. Muscle sculpted into the golden ratio. Why are we seeing this again? <laughs> we we already bodied this guy. What hang on, this is not the girl that was there. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, she's just daydreaming right now. Yeah. She like writing fan fiction or something. <laughs> what the hell is her problem? Got a tad bit of fan service this episode, aren't we? Oh, she's still just passed out, yeah? Okay. Maybe a bit more than a tad bit. Oh, so these are like sisters, I suppose. Oh, this is Beta. Beta is the one on the right. Yep, yeah, got it. Epsilon, got it. Yeah, she did because she like grew up and grew some boobs, or she used magic to make her boobs bigger. Yeah, just <laughs> poking into the camera right here. Why are we a cat? Why are we seeing from the view of a cat right now? Okay, we are getting hella fan service this episode. <laughs> Every 10 frames is boobs or ass. Yeah, she's just conked out. Yeah, they got like hella modern fashion in this old society. I like how obviously the older sister, definitely. Um, but uh, Alexia is still involved in kind of the story as well. Hey, what's up, Gamma? Ah, so she goes by Luna here. To the Sacred Land. Isn't that the same place that Sid's going to be going? Every day where? Yeah? Are going to buy Sid something? Oh. Okay. So definitely, well, maybe kind of for Sid. In, in a way, but it's not for Sid. 
This is very pleasing to the men folk. <laughs> you have a finely shaped buttocks. Why are you taking it down? What? <laughs> what is this episode, man? Holy shit. So funny. Take a look. Wow. Yeah, just another ass shot, bro. Take a shot every time there's a boob or ass shot in this episode. I like how Iris is the one with the brain in this situation. Like the older sister. Sir? <laughs> what is happening? Was this in the manga? <laughs> Probably was. Why are you blushing like that, sir? <laughs> ah, so crazy. She's going to put in all this effort to try and win over Sid. And he has this harem that will just lay it out for him whenever he wants. <laughs> You'd think she was the younger sister. Jesus Christ. Wait, is this like a flashback? Oh, uh. Okay, so in the timeline, he's still he's still alive. That's fine. He doesn't have to die. That's so funny how he has to put on this dramatic. He's got his friends there. He even said, I'm dead when she showed up. Nice one, dude. You just gave yourself another problem. Nice one, dude. <laughs> Background character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now he's in like rich people carriage. Oh, God. Oh, is he going to the, the sacred land? Is it? What the hell is that? A dragon? Why is he going to the sacred land with her? Have I missed something? Oh, I see. Oh, was, he, was that a slime on the track? Wow. Is that wine? You eat, you're like 16, aren't you? Is that, I suppose the laws may, might be different in this world. I'm going at him for drinking wine when he's like a... A murderer. Like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Seen the real him. Honey. <laughs> Is he trying to get his hand away? <laughs> oh, Sid makes me laugh. Oh, he just wiggles it out. <laughs> Why is she still holding her hands there? Does she not know that he's gotten free? So it's not Lindworm, it's Lindworm. Or maybe that's just how he's saying it. Oh my god, this woman. <laughs> this is your own fault, Sid. Truly, your own fault. But I mean, I guess he couldn't just let her die. I suppose. <laughs> Sleeping on the ceiling like that, yeah. It's quite a small, kind of like a, quite a small city. Maybe even a town. Of course, it's someone else in the harem. Yeah, it's the, uh, the author. Okay. Yeah, Sid's going to show up here with her. He's noticed. <laughs> Hang on. This seems familiar. Romeo e Giulietta. Asherella! <laughs> <laughs> These fucking names! One Puss and Dragon Ball. Oh my god. Even the name of the manga. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, hand me your book. Uh, I'll take one book of One Purse, please. A few stories from my past life. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Sid's so funny, man. Yeah, she gave me a whole mission in mine. Well, can he not read them? <laughs> Him just making up an excuse. Alpha's so cool. I want to see her fight more. Damn. Fucked him up. Oh, it wasn't Alpha. Okay. Yeah, she's just walking away. Has he got rice on his mouth? What the hell's he eating? Oh, it's Sid. 
I thought that was someone else for some reason. Who the hell is this? Is this someone pretending to be Sid, or is it the other, like, fake shadow garden? <laughs> yeah, with a popsicle stick! Holy moly. You slice them in free? Ugh! Yeah, the boob physics again. She's really... Ma'am, that... Why? That bounced for a good 10 seconds right there. I can't with this episode. The amount of slime she's piled onto herself. Wait, so her, are her boobs fake? Right, so that was the Eminence in Shadow episode 10. That was a funny episode. Um... The amount of fan service right there, holy moly. <laughs> it was like a main point of the episode was boobs. Um, great, 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, very good episode. They're now in the sacred land of... Um, was it Lookworm? I've already forgotten the name, but sacred land. Um, for whatever reason, it's going to be something to do with this left arm, left arm of Diablos. Uh, some kind of major figure, the king or something like that, um, has been slain. He's going to get himself wrapped up in some bullshit, like Sid always does. Um, uh, yeah, everybody's here. It's going to be a good time. I loved I loved the references to all the famous novels and manga and stuff like that from Beta. That was so funny. Um, but yeah, overall, just a very good episode. Very funny. I love Sid's humor, and it's just kind of dead poker phases too. So funny. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.